Welcome to the video tutorial for a Para Instruments PH20 Value Series PH Tester Kit. PH Calibration. Short press the power button to turn on the tester. Always start with PH7 calibration. Rinse off the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Dip the probe into the PH7 buffer. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode. Wait for the reading to fully stabilize. Then short press Cal button to finish the first point calibration. Icon M will show up at the bottom left, indicating a successful first point calibration. Then rinse off the probe in pure water and shake off excess water. Do not turn off the tester after calibrating pH 7. Dip the probe in the pH 4 buffer to start the second point calibration. Make a quick stir in the solution, then hold still. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode. Wait for the reading to fully stabilize. Then short press Cal button to finish the second point calibration. Icon L will show up at the bottom left next to Icon M, indicating a successful two-point calibration. Rinse off the probe in pure water and shake off excess water. If the estimated pH of your sample is greater than 8.0, we recommend calibrating third point with pH 10 to maximize the accuracy. The pH 10 buffer is not included in the standard kit and can be purchased separately. Make a quick stir in pH 10 buffer and let it stand. Long press Cal button to enter calibration mode. Wait for the reading to fully stabilize. Then short press Cal button to finish the third point calibration. Icon H will show up at the bottom left next to L and M, indicating a successful three point calibration. Notes for pH calibration. The first point calibration must be 7.00 pH. Perform the second and third point calibrations immediately after finishing pH 7 calibration. Do not turn off the meter before you calibrate pH 4 or pH 10. Otherwise, you will need to restart the calibration process with pH 7 first. pH measurement. Rinse off the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Insert the probe in your sample solution, make a quick stir, and let it stand. Get the reading as the measurement when it is fully stabilized. After measurement, rinse off the probe in pure water and close on the probe cap. Parameter settings. When powered off, long press power button to enter parameter settings. Then short press power button to switch to the parameter that you need to change. This tutorial takes switching temperature unit as an example. Short press enter button to enter the temperature unit setting under P2. Short press power button to change the value between Fahrenheit and Celsius. Short press enter button to confirm the change. Then long press power button to exit settings and go to measurement mode. Probe cleaning. The tester is only as accurate as the probe is clean. Always thoroughly rinse off the probe with pure water before and after each measurement. For tough contaminants, detach the sensor shield first. Rinse off the probe in pure water. Soak the probe in a paraprobe cleaning solution or detergent water for about half an hour.
Then use a soft brush to remove the contaminants. Rinse the probe in pure water, shake off excess water. Put back the sensor shield. Recalibrate the tester before using again. Probe storage. For regular storage, just make sure there are a few water droplets inside the probe cap. Then close on the probe cap tightly, just so to maintain the humidity inside so the probe will not be dried out. If the probe is dried out by accident, or if you find the probe's response turns much slower than usual, soak the probe in a pair of 3M KCL soaking solution, or pH 4 buffer, for about 1 to 2 hours to recover its sensitivity. Notes for probe storage. Never store the probe in pure water, like tap, RO, distilled, or deionized water, for long as they could damage the pH sensor. If this happens, just soak the pH probe in a para 3M KCL soaking solution overnight to restore, then recalibrate it before using. Pure water is only for rinsing off the probe, not for storage. Battery replacement. Loosen the battery cap lock and pull off the battery cap. Unlock the battery compartment and open it. Insert the AAA batteries with all positive sides facing up. Press down and lock the battery compartment. Close on the battery cap tightly.